Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the percent rank function. Now this may be applicable where you, maybe you have a list of names and scores from 0 to 100, maybe students, and you want to see where they rank in terms of percentage of, with each other in a test course. Now what we can do here is, well, let's say we have a rank here already, uh, and Alice is in the highest score and the lowest score. Let's see, the lowest score is Ron with the 11, uh, out, out of a score from 0 to 100. Now if we want to rank them in terms of percentage, uh, it's basically using the percent rank function. So the percent rank function is just type equal per cent, cent and then rank. This was uh, basically used in Excel 2007 earlier. Uh, nowadays you can use uh, either one of these two to get a little bit more of a difference between the rank. I'll go ahead and show you the example of the percent rank dot inc inclusive. Uh, it's more it's more similar to the older percent rank. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Double click that to kind of complete it. The array is basically the range of scores that we want to rank. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Scroll down and press comma and then which number x is what number do I want to which number do I want to compare based on that array and it's going to be this this score here and uh, significance is uh, the, the decimal significance how far do I want to go up but I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank since it's got square brackets that's an optional parameter now before I complete this I need to go ahead and uh, lock these put this into an absolute cell range and I'm going to do that by pressing function F4 and that locks it with the dollar signs and press F4 with that one. So what happens is when I copy it down, that stays constant. This B2 is going to change. It's going to change to B3, B4 when I copy it down the cells here. So I'm going to go ahead and press Enter, and we see here it's got that 38 percent. Let me go ahead and double click to bring that down. And what you see here is now we've ranked our percentages of the test scores of these students. Now this was a good example of using the percent in rank inclusive where we have a score of 0 and here a score of 100. Let me go ahead and put these in percentages to make it a little bit easier to see. So we have a score 0 to 100. I guess in reality we won't really apply these kind of scores 0 to 100 percent. And so what we can do is we can use the exclusive. So I'm going to go ahead and click the first one here and type uh, delete that and put EX and just go ahead and tab to complete it. Press Control Enter to stay within that cell. Whoops, it didn't say in that cell. Let me go back up here and just go ahead and double click the fill handle here to copy the formula down. Right now it's exclusive from the first one, the second one is inclusive. So I'm going to click on the first one and double click the fill handle here to copy it down. And you notice now the ones where it was 100% uh, and 0%, the high score and low score, it kind of uh, gave you a little bit more of a, I guess, realistic uh, perspective of the percentiles ranking. So this is in the top 90, 90th, 90th percentile and this is it within the 10th percentile or the 10th percent of, of the ranking there. So that's how you would use the percent rank function uh, and the difference between the percent rank function inclusive and exclusive. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.